Hello, in this session, we will create circular particles with added noise using Niagara. First, we create Niagara by adding a fountain emitter. We remove modules that affect the movement of the particle as shown in the video. We set it to GPU to accommodate a large number of particles and check requires persistent IDs to generate other particles from the location of these particles. To generate particles all at once, we delete spawn rate and create spawn burst instantaneous. Next, we set the loop behavior in emitter state to once so that the particles are created only once. To keep the particles alive permanently and unaffected by time, we uncheck kill particles when lifetime has elapsed in particle state. Then, in scale color, we remove the curve from scale alpha and set the color. It's okay not to set a color. Next, in shape location, we increase the radius of the sphere. Since the current particles are too large, we reduce the sprite size in initialized particle. Then, we go back to shape location, set the shape distribution to uniform, and set the uniform spiral amount to three so the placement of the particles becomes spiral. We change the name of the emitter to use it as the spawning location of another emitter. Next, we create another fountain emitter. Like the previous emitter, we set it to GPU to accommodate many particles. Next, we set the emitter state to system for the particles to be affected by their individual lifetime. We remove spawn rate and create spawn particles from other emitter for particles to be generated from the location of another emitter. We set the name of the previously created emitter in the created module so that particles are generated from the location of those particles. We set the values of the amount of particles generated and the maximum amount of particles generated per second as shown in the video. Next, we remove shape location, set the mode to from point in add velocity, and set the speed to a negative value so that the particles are sucked inwards. Then, in Initialize Particle, we set the lifetime and size of the particle. Set the color mode to Random Hue, Wax Saturation, and Value, and set the color and hue shift range as shown in the video so that the particle spawns in random colors. We set the mass mode to Unset as mass is not needed. Next, we adjust the values of gravity force. Next, to change the sprite size over time, we add scale sprite size and set the curve as shown in the video. Then in scale color, to set additional particle colors, we set RGB to linear color, set the color, and make the alpha in the same way as we did in sprite size, so that particles are generated and disappear naturally. Next, to allow the particle to give resistance to speed over time, we set the curve in drag as shown in the video. Next, to add a slight whirlwind-like movement to the particles, we add a vortex force and set its values. Then, we add a curl noise force to add overall curl noise to the circular particles. We set the curve in noise strength to reduce the intensity of the noise over time. Finally, we uncheck the sprite renderer of the previously created emitter so that the circular particle surrounded by the curl noise sphere is not visible. Now, we place the Niagara system in the level.